Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Seed Story Cup Hi number there. four here uh, in the Take TV location. This is the B streamer checking out. We have uh, the winner's match of uh, this group coming up. It's going to be Ryzen versus Powder. I uh, actually like both of these guys a lot. Uh, really cool dudes. Ryzen's first time in Europe, actually, right now. Uh, playing some Hearthstone, some Cardstone, as people say. I am joined by the mighty Volle, which is short for the uh, very delicate name of Wolfgang. How are you doing, buddy? I'm great. I'm enjoying uh, the Seed Story Cup so far. Very fun uh, event. Very nice people. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've had some sick matches. I mean, Frodan just 3 0'd Tice, who's like the European champion. He got like 3 0'd by the Secret Paladin of a caster. So, I mean, Frodan's a good player, but like, it's still, it's still pretty sick, right? He, yeah. Like, in the winner's interview, Frodan was all like, uh, yeah, Blizzard, hope you're watching. Like, those were his words. <laughs> So yeah, that, that should that should like tell him something. Yeah, that sounds pretty confident. Yeah, for sure. So uh, we're about to jump into this match. Um, I actually don't know if the players started yet or not. Oh yeah, they are. Wow. Okay. <laughs> People aren't telling professionalism. Us uh, I actually best. still need Ryzen. There. Yeah, but he's like nearby. Uh, okay. Dear admin, I still need Ryzen's contact. Basically. I think I should have joined him first as well for like the overlay, right? Yeah, like powder's at the bottom. Good job. Oh, thank you, man. I, I try. So basically, I'm going to disconnect in a second just so we can like rejoin. So the overlay's correct. Okay. Do that. I will entertain the cast, uh, the chat. I mean, <laughs> I will entertain us as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, <laughs> production value. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Elki uh, couldn't join us to cast. No, but he, like, that dude is so dope. Oh, like, yeah. Elki is so cool. I've never met any multi millionaire that was so chill. Yeah, like, he doesn't behave like it at all, no, right? Like, not, he's just. Not at all. He's like, yeah, I'll play some Hearthstone, you know? Casually almost make it out of groups. <laughs> like, like, what a cool dude. Like, he almost was up 2 0 against the world champion. Yeah. Like, oh, just playing like him, uh, playing against him like it was nothing. Unfortunately, he uh, lost to Petron. Yeah. Don't know hurts. what to say about that. That's yeah, patrons are patrons, yeah. right? Like, that's how it goes. That's patrons. Our admin saying in the chat, Caster's so drunk, feels bad, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I heard the. Uh, Casters that were here before had a little party going on. Yeah, I heard that they were like a little intoxicated. Can we talk about the shredder placement though? That's sexy as fudge. Yeah, what can you tell us uh, about it? About caster place? L about like shredder placement? Yes. Well, basically, it's good because you like, need to put it in the middle of stuff. So just in case like a buffing monster or a buffing minion for like uh, adjacent minion spawns, that's kind of what you want. So he does have a pretty sick answer here in terms of like playing the flame waker. Uh, with like a cannon if he wants to. He might just choose to like trade the Armorsmith and play like mirror images and arcade missiles as well, depending on how hard he wants to like YOLO out on this board. Mirror images are like really weak to brawl, which uh, if Powder has it, just com clears the complete board. And in Ryzen's hand, there's not really too much left but the Lothab on its own, so I'll have to see how good it really is. Yeah. Like, and no play is like really wrong here out of the two, but we'll see which one he chooses. Like, just trading the Taskmaster for value and then uh, flame cannoning afterwards seems okay as well because. Yeah, sure, you know, your Flame Waker is open and vulnerable, but you don't really die to it unless your opponent has, like, something more, which we do see the Shield Slam, and it's probably going to come down because there's not really anything that uh, can be played. So, uh, like, I would assume that he would just, like, Shield Slam armor up here. Yeah. Actually, is he, gonna, he might kill the Shredder first, of course. We'll see. Yeah. He's going to get... Wow, a Totem Golem. That's pretty <laughs> sick, actually. <laughs> That's lucky. Jesus Christ, it is. We've actually seen so many Totem Golems over the last couple days. I remember this one match. I don't even know who it was. Who was it, actually? I don't remember. But he got, like, three Totem Golems in one game. Yeah, it was Sixo yesterday. He got three Totem Golems yeah. uh, in a row, which, like, he drew one of them, got another one out of the Shredder, and then got one another top egg. That was crazy. Uh, actually, I've never seen so much luck in a Hearthstone uh tournament like this one. Oh really? Yeah, yesterday uh, Orange beat uh, Toyota oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 3 0. That was so sick though. That was so sick. The fastest three games I've ever seen. Like 
10 minutes or so. And he was so lucky. Oh, this is not, this is really lucky though. I don't like him using their cane missiles there, but I mean it's it's up to him basically. Frostbolt. Do you play the unbound with this? Oh, that seems good. And just go face. I mean, you can keep it basically against Brawl, but I guess you're thinking, okay, if he has Brawl, he would have played it already, so yeah, he's not going to do it. So the tank up's already out, so like tank up's so important. Obviously, for the control warrior, like if you already have it, it's so so strong. Rise and grills to somebody in chat. Dude, I'm so happy that Ryzen could actually make it this time. Like, it's so <laughs> he's such a cool dude. Yeah, that's true. Have you uh, another cool dude? Uh, that's here, Elki. We yeah. talked about him, Ryzen, but also Martin Creek. Yeah, yeah Martin's he's awesome. He's so chill. Yeah, for real. I played some Overwatch yesterday with him. Oh, nice. Did you win? Uh, well, <laughs> no. <laughs> Skabaz. This is awkward. This turns like really awkward. Because sure, you can play like a death spite and tank up, but then you're like really open and vulnerable to more. Plus, yeah, sure, you know, it takes care of minions, but you take a lot of damage. Like, if you want to attack down Lothar next turn, sure, like that's basically only a tank up, but like a single fireball just like seals the game. Yeah. Like, fireball's lethal here. Not sure if Frostbolt is. Like, Frostbolt is 5 damage, basically, so that's not quite enough. Shredder's pretty good, though. Like, Drake into Shredder, that's so insane. Like, Ryzen uh, with the tempo here. Yeah, it seems like... Like, Powder needs some serious... Like, he needs Brawl so bad right now. Yeah, it seems like a solid, solid deck he's going on there. Otherwise, it's, like, Shredder time, basically. Uh, kind of looks like Shredder time, to be honest. We'll see what he gets off of this slam. A brawl? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Oh man, look at Ryzen. He's like the top decks, and that is so brutal. Depending on what comes out of this. Oh. <laughs> oh Jeez. I mean, oh, this is gonna be so close. He's gonna survive at five HP if he clears the low. Damn. I mean, what? This is insane. <laughs> Goes down to one HP and then tanks up to five. Like, yeah. okay, so one damage needed for Ryzen right now. A single point of damage, and he top decks the flame cannon. Oh my oh, god! No, 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 no! This is so bad for him right now. He can bring his opponent to one HP yet again. <laughs> but a Belcher could come out. Like, maybe he might not even play the Belcher here. Like, he might choose to Grom instead. gonna play the bell yeah, okay. okay. I would have actually liked Grom way more than this, but I mean, obviously that's, it's a stress. That's safe. Uh, <laughs> all wow. right. Wow, okay, okay. But uh, the top deck brawl gets countered by the top deck fireball, and Ryzen yeah. just in the nick of time, like completing this match, taking the first win versus the control warrior with his tempo mage. I'm gonna was. keep playing that, of course. Yeah, now. it was a solo playthrough. Not for sure. So uh, with like the uh, tempo mage, I mean, you can you can sweep people. Like, uh, actually, Ignite told me I didn't see the match before this, like where Ryzen won versus him. That uh, he was up 2-0 and like Ryzen reverse sweeped him. Uh, apparently, that's what went down. So, with a tempo mage as well. So that's pretty pretty sick. I mean, he's up 1-0 with it right now. Let's see if he gets countered by another deck of powder. He does choose his warlock against oh, okay. this. That would tell me that he plays handlock. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, there's the handlock. And uh, absolute warrior says in chat, holy shit, that was kind of intense. Oh yeah. Who the fuck are these casters? Just random dudes, man. How are you doing? <laughs> random dudes. They ran around there. My name's Busty. I'm casting uh, together with Skamaz. Yeah. Next to me. Someone just grabbed me and said, you sit there, cast. <laughs> Pretty much. I was like, okay, hell. All right. So double Drake and Ed's pretty nice for powder. Um, it's almost like there's almost some six energy going on there. Nice scientist draw there. It's really important. Like this is a hard matchup for uh, Tempo Mage. A actually, as like a Mech Mage, which isn't too far away from like a Tempo Mage in terms of like the playstyle, you are favored against the Handlock. I did not know this. Uh, wow, the portal draw. That's so important right now. Oh yeah. The tempo that he like he needs to get a sick portal here. That's like decent. It's okay just Ooh. because it survives a uh, Hellfire. Doesn't survive a Shadow Flame though, so first Drake's gonna be coined here. He might actually like decide to like Frostbolt this, depending on uh, how he wants to play it. Like he could like Arcane and Elect, Frostbolt and Drain Eye Totem Carver, if he wanted to. But basically, the line of play that Ryzen chooses like right now, like this turn, depends or decides the rest of the game for him, right? It's like okay, which line of play do I choose? Like the Arcane Elect is obvious, but like what now? 
Second Apprentice, so take yeah. him a Hellfire, apparently. Or is he trading? Oh. Flame Cannon, Frostbolt, trade with the Scientist. Yeah, it's pretty uh, decent. Okay. You so can do that. For it. And he does get a Mirror Entity, okay. Oh, nice. And that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I sound like, uh... I sound like, uh... Crip. You sound like Crip. Yeah, because he's like... That card's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's just going to shield up. I think this is correct, actually. Yeah. Just because, like, you have nothing to, like, counter this. No, oh, shoot play main. safe. And it actually means that unless he, like, clears everything here, Hellfire, like, clears the rest of his board. Karen is so sick out of the portal, though. Wow. That's painful, man. I mean... You're still playing a handlock, and there is a silence in hand for powder, so, like, it's not too horrible, but let's see if he clears this. Like, you have to clear this board. Otherwise, like, Hellfire just wrecks you, or uh, Shadow Flame. Good hits. Yeah. That's decent. Not going to trade. Oh, you have to, bro. Come on. You better do it. Yeah, do it. That was actually a good impression. Why, thank you, my man. Ah, you like the trade. He trades. It just makes the plays for your opponent, like, a little bit worse. Yeah. At least that's how he thinks. He can still Hellfire Mortal Coil. That was a good decision. Oh, okay. But he's going to get memed pretty hard by, yeah. like, <laughs> Karen and the Totem Carver. Okay, what's he going to get out of this? Oh, another one. Arcane Muscles. The Earth Mother's going to get memed. Don't use the missiles, bro. Yeah, I was like, what the hell, man? All right. The chat likes this, is what production is telling us. Please correct the production. I want to see some Swift Rage hate. <laughs> like, instantly. Spam the dance game. Like, what? I can't believe that. Who are those people? Dance game. Dance game. All right, so the only problem with, like, the previous uh, Ancient Watcher taunt play is that that was his own uh, only taunt in hand. So even if you, like, silence and play Drake, you still have... Uh, eight damage staring you down at least, or nine, I guess. So that's actually a humongous problem if I look at it this way, because you're going to get absolutely wrecked by a top deck fireball. <laughs> Sapcasters, there we go. It's like, yeah. Jesus, I mean, this is still seed nice. story, right? Like, where's it's, the hate? Like, yeah, is this, is this Twitch? Lovecasters hate overlay. <laughs> Drake. Dude, don't hate it. Some people work really hard on it. I'm sure about well, it. The overlay's fine. I mean, people know this as well. Like, it's all cool. All right. Oh, damn, he's going to run into AoE clear so hard. It's actually pretty brutal. Like, I think the play here is to actually just full-on smork, because you know you're dead to, like, a lot oh of shit. Oh, my God. I kind of feel bad for Powder. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, scratch that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ryzen just got memed so hard. Like, like never, ever lucky, man. He's playing mage and can't sap casters. Vanish casters. What to do? Okay. I'm going for trade or... <sighs> no, you have to smork here. Like, you, you lose. He probably, like, don't you just, like, straight up lose if you get shadow flamed? Rag. Yeah, so, like, silence, shadow flame, mortal coil is the play here, right? Like, look at this value shadow flame. Oh, Are you yeah. seeing this? Like, holy crap. Like, that tanked every single hit. Like, you have to be so sad about this. Like, yeah. you, you can even play a giant. Only good oh, news is... Oh, this was pretty good. Only good news is there's no heal, right? Yeah. So, there's probably, like, two turns. Actually, do you even have two turns? You might have two turns, Lothab. Uh. Oh, that's good Lothab placement. I like that. Pinging face. Why would you ping face there? The only reason to do that is, like, if you're... Oh, crap, and there's some sick heal. It's only one turn left here for uh, for, Jirax or for Jiraxis to, like, get into this, actually. So he's going to play Rag this turn, and Jiraxis next turn. Like, we know, right? So basically, this is, like, the only turn he has left to yeah. get some sort of heal. Ooh. <laughs> yep, and that's going to be game. So Ryzen's going to lose this one. Yep. No top deck fireball this time around. And, uh, yeah, pretty horrible hits with the missiles there. I mean, the portals were decent, that right? But the hand for powder was just pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, it was pretty unlucky. I mean, that's how this matchup goes, though. Right? Yeah. Like, that's just how it goes. All right. Okay, so, 1-1 uh, so one, one between the two. Yeah. I'm wondering what's next for Ryzen. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, 
for all the people who don't know, like last year was standing, the deck that you win with, you have to choose again. So Warlock obviously still going to be played for Powder. Uh, oh, the hand lucky he's going for Hunter. We're going to see the Hunter, and I don't know what kind of uh, Hunter Ryzen plays, but if, I feel like it's going to be some sort of like hybrid mid range type, as you can see from like Web Spin or High Main, which like so sometimes or most of the time indicates this. So it's going to be. Uh, like slightly favored if he draws well, and these are insane draws, right? Like, sure, web spinners get mortal code like out of life, and you need the scientist early on, but that hunter's mark is gonna rip any taunt apart, right? Yeah. Doctor Boom is in the draw. Nice. Want, so the reason that he's not coining the second spinner here is because he's still hoping to draw two, and in case he doesn't, he still wants to curve out well and uh, like coin a shredder on three. What happened to the other casters? Uh, I don't know. Did they like fall over drunk or? <laughs> I, I have know. no idea what Making happened. Making out behind the alley. I am, I'm not sure. Nice. All right. So double mortal coil in hand, actually. But as good as this looks, it does give two beasts to your opponent, but you still go for it, right? Like, it just looks too good to not do. Direwolf off the first one. Okay. And... Ah. So... Yeah, I might go for Direwolf. All right, yeah. Direwolf Stone Tusk Boar is like the wor <laughs> two of the worst things you can get off the spinner. Actually, Direwolf is like decent, just not in this matchup. Giant off the top that can't get played. This is kind of an awkward turn because, as good as like the Hellfire looks against uh, a, <laughs> these castles are actually sober. You sure about that? Other castles are Netflixing and chilling. Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> they fell over drunk. Yeah, probably. I don't know. All right, so yeah. I don't know if you use the Hunter's Mark here. I actually don't know. Maybe you do. No, he's going for Belcher. Yeah, but you could still Hunter's Mark, I guess. I mean, he might feel safe because next turn he can just coin Boom, right? Yeah. Hellfire for a Boar forehead. Yeah, that's like that's what it feels like, right? Like it just feels weird. And this is such like this board, man. Like, what do you do against this? It sucks so hard for the Hunter. Your product placement has worked. Nice. And you, he's not even coining Boom because of this. But you're not getting through the taunts, right? Nope. Wait, are you getting through the taunts, maybe? You have five on board. You gain another four. You have a quick shot. So it looks like that's what he's doing? And... Yeah, he's doing it. Oh. Oh, and Ryza just said, uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh. Yeah, you should have used that first. Damn. That hurts. Little does he know, it's actually not too bad that he didn't use it earlier on, because this way he plays about BGH perfectly, which is pretty funny, because that's at hand for Powder. Can you please do a drinking game during casting? During the casting the spice thing. Yeah, though. I'm not dude, sure I have an Asian that. next to me, dude. It's not going to get more spicy than that. Is that racist? <laughs> I think so. I, I mean, know. come on. I'm sitting right next to you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're a little scared to, like, just boom here. But, I mean, what else are you doing, right? Like, I don't see anything else. Yeah. Mm. Tap. Damn, fearless. And he's gonna he's gonna play super defensively now. He's gonna owl and maybe even play a dark bomb with this. We'll see. And oh, he's still. All right, taking out the beast. Yeah. And, and he's gonna get boomed. Yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, Which secret do we see? It is gonna be a freezing trap. That's gonna be. Chosen by the Owl. It's not the best target if you're uh, Ryzen, right? Molten BGH is a pretty <laughs> sick comeback. <laughs> the Beast in his sights. And it's really looking bad for Ryzen at this point because unless you get some sick boom bots here, I mean, your opponent is only at 15 and has a sick hand. And even if he goes like down any further, there's still Jaraxxus to like heal yourself up. And like you're running out of tempo. Like the Snake Trap, what is it really doing? Like sure, it gives you three one ones, but at this point, that's not too much. Yeah, and that's like that bomb looks good, but it might bait him into like going full smork, which is completely wrong. Oh. Okay, it's not the worst hit, actually. Yeah, it's, it's okay. 
And it's going to blow a hit off of this uh, Eagle Horn Bow, but it's correct. I mean, it's okay to like lose one hit off of this. Basically forces your opponent to Draxus. Hmm. I mean, he might choose not to do it and like just play like Twilight Drake Belcher, but I feel like that's like super greedy. Like, why not just go for Draxus at this point? Also, if you guys aren't sober, can you please tell us what you're drinking? <laughs> uh, I just uh, drank some pretty sick Red Bull in stores now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was subtle. Yeah, for sure. Nothing gets me out of bed like a fresh Red Bull in the morning. Exactly. It man. tastes good. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, it's still looking like bad for Ryzen, but if Power is like super greedy and doesn't play uh, Jaraxxus, he might die next turn. Sell out. Are you still a sellout if you make it like blatantly obvious? Um, I don't know. What's the definition of a sellout? Is Red Bull actually sponsoring this event? Hell yeah. Yes, it is. Jaraxxus. Okay, so I guess Ryzen's going to top deck Nefarian and like get a Sacrificial Pact, right? I don't see another way of winning. Volley, you sexy beast, says Kerfuffles. Hey, Kerfuffles, how are you doing? Nice to see you in the chat. Can you tell us the story behind the dick statue on the A-stream, please? Holy hell, who said that? Um, oh, that golly, golly oh, gosh. That. Jolly gosh. Um, well, the story behind it is it's a statue and it's holding its own penis. <laughs> That's such a sick story, man. That's the story behind it. Don't know what else to say. All right, so um, basically Ryzen's like, just play this out. And uh, Ooh, just a 50-50 going to be taken here by Powder for the win. That looks, yeah, I think so. And it's like, it's game anyways, right? Like, there's nothing that Ryzen could draw to win this. What a story. <laughs> 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 oh, damn. Oh. All right, and Ryzen losing the second game as well. So uh, Powder actually going on a 2-0 win streak with uh, this handlock of his. Yeah, it seems uh, working for him. Yeah, it does. And uh, Ryzen's going to have to fall back to his last deck. He's going to yeah. load it to the last game momentarily. And it's going to be his warrior yeah, left. the warrior. He might... Uh, I think he might have a chance yeah, with the warrior. Sure. Okay, somebody asked, can you involve Ekop a bit more in the casting? He went 0-6, so he feels bad, man. Uh, yeah, but he just like he didn't want to cast until now, so maybe that like changes. I don't know. Maybe we should get him some beer. He's such like he's su he's actually such a fun guy. Like he's such a fun caster. Hey, actually. you played the uh, the chocolate game with Ecop. Yeah, right? like he's up for fun at yeah. any point. Yeah, like he just didn't want to cast. That's it. Like he's a good guy, which is so weird to say about Ecop because people like kind of put him in the situation where he's like the most evil person in esports. No, <laughs> but you he's see, not. if he, you first meet him, he seems evil, but if you get to know him, he's actually pretty nice. Actually, like the first time I met him, I actually thought he was pretty funny. <laughs> 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 actually pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Okay. Smith coming up. So this matchup is kind of awkward because... Like, if you're playing Patrons, you just lose, right? Uh, at least with like, the new Patron deck. But if you don't, and you play like, a Control Warrior, you always have some chance, right? Just because of your uh, removal. But, like, Jaraxxus outlasts anything in the game, so that's kind of... Like, even tank up, so... <laughs> yeah, if you don't have, like, a board against that, and you just get completely wrecked by, uh, like, a Shadow Flame on some Giant, for example, that kind of gets brutal. This is a pretty decent turn, though. Dark Bomb Mortal Call on three is like one of the best things you can do. You don't yeah. really care too much about giving your opponent armor just yet, as long as you have a play. The only thing that's bad about this is that he can't play the Giant next turn, which he won't mind. Uh, like, Ryzen will know at this point that he doesn't have, or that he might have a Drake, but that he definitely isn't going to play a Giant, right? Or doesn't prioritize that, at least. <laughs> Get Ecop drunk and then casting. <laughs> Get him drunk as purple. And let him go <laughs> ham on the mic. <laughs> have I asked him at to cast as well? Yes, I have, but he doesn't want to, man. He doesn't want to. I don't know if he's cast in the meantime, but like, maybe we can get him to cast. He can just sit here and make some music live. That would be, would be awesome. I actually wanted him to like make live music, but 
it's actually harder to do than you think because you need like a lot of stuff to prepare. You can that. just beatbox and stuff. <laughs> like the beatbox radio cap. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Radio cap a beatbox version. So many MHS many proudly many presents. Beatbox Kappa. <laughs> Live from Seat Story Cup. <laughs> Alright, this is a pretty sick turn though. By right uh by uh powder. Coining the mortal coil. Feels good, man. Yeah. Alright. Purple is best. Purple's so funny, man. You have to like the guy. I was actually talking about uh, with Purple about old times when we were younger. Uh, For real? <laughs> yeah, we both used to play Magic when we were younger. And we were pl uh, talking about old times, like uh, gathering friends and uh, optimizing our decks. Uh-huh. Pretty fun. All right. Tap Drake. Already one uh, Shield Slam, one Execute used here. One Giant and one Drake down as well. Dr. Boom coming out. This hand is like really big. Does he have a BGA? Yes, he does. So that's going to hurt. So he's thinking about this. Is there any other play? Uh, not really. You have to BGH for sure. Whatever you do afterwards is like up to him. He might actually decide to Argus here, although I don't think he has any other taunt givers just yet, so he's going to think about that twice. Can he afford to tap? No, unless he plays a watch here with this, right? I bet Purple has a Black Lotus card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. So he could use a second Shield Slam if he wanted to. This is actually not a bad brawl. Like, obviously this isn't the most threatening board from your opponent, but it's not a bad brawl. Like, it for sure isn't. He's trading the BGH. Wow. Why would you not just use your weapon for that? That's, like, really, really awkward. I don't know. Huh. Maybe he wants to, like, diminish value from Hellfire, but that's not too much value you're, like, taking away. Purple's trying to make the moves on Eloise. Really good Purple's? Like, as how? As in, as in how? They're on the oh, mainstream together. He switched girls, I oh, see. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm missing that? God damn it. <laughs> Can, uh. Can he, <laughs> Eloise is, like, getting so memed by, <laughs> by him. That's actually pretty I funny. I think Eloise hates me because, uh. I told you I was playing uh, Overwatch with Purple yesterday. Yeah. I was playing on Eloise's account. Yeah. And then she sat next to me and she was just looking at me like, Is that my account you're playing on? I was like, yeah, Martin told me it's okay. Okay, I don't mind. I just want to play some Hearthstone. And Damn, the I accent. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was pretty, I don't know. It was racist even for an half Asian. And, uh... I think she still hates me for it. Account sharing. <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> All right, so like, I don't think it's just me that finds this very peculiar, in terms of, like, this is such a weird position that Ryzen's in. Like, I don't know how he can come back here. The stream is amazing. Why? Well, thank you, my man. Glad you enjoy. It. Glad you guys enjoy Seed Story at all. Or uh, overall, sorry. And are watching this. We're having a great time, actually. Yeah. Like, yesterday was super stressful. Today was just, like, all around fun. Like, it was so cool. Having a lot of fun. I mean, sure, it's about Hearthstone, but it's, like, also around, about, like, having fun. You know, sitting, you know, just sitting with other people, you know, playing some poker or, like, playing some games. Watching the games together is a huge deal. Uh, yeah, just like sharing, sharing like cool experiences, right? Because wow, that sounds like I'm some weird game designer, but it, it's it really is the truth. Because a lot of these people haven't like faced each other before. Like for example, Ryzen has never even been to Europe before, and uh, if I bet if you would ask him, he, he that I think he likes it here, right? Yeah, like this is probably a great experience for him. Okay, here we go. The tr 
true heart. Play with Elk at your own risk, Westy. Ochre Fuffles, I suck at poker, believe me. I am so bad at poker. I wouldn't even win versus Bona. Like, I would just die. I'm so bad yeah, at imagine it. playing poker against Elky. Yeah, you know you're going to lose. Yeah, like. he, he will... I don't know. I think he would be kind enough to... He would lend you the money to play with you play with you and then then he, he would, would just absolutely meme the hell out of you yeah, yeah and then and then he would be like yeah okay just keep it i don't care at all cool you guys saying i think the social element of this tournament is the best bit it's nice to see the players having fun and chilling out together exactly my man you understood the flavor oh, this the is bro. a pretty sick bro. oh my god so much value indeed the only thing is that he still doesn't have anything to like push damage on the board. Like he does have another weapon, and uh, yeah, like bash, right? Like <laughs> there's a Doctor Boom top deck. I was talking about Jaraxxus. This would have been a free Jaraxxus. <laughs> He's gonna go with Boom. It's gonna be really hard to get rid of. And Ryzen knows this. He's like, God damn it, Baron Geddon. He could bash. No, Bash Geddon doesn't do anything. So like that spite bash would work, uh, <laughs> and like armor up. Follow up with get next turn. Yeah. What are you laughing at? Oh uh, no, I, I was just remembering yesterday. Uh, someone told me that Elki was trying to buy beer with a 500 euro bill. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just Elki thing. Yeah, and then his girlfriend uh, changed the bill for some uh, 50 euro bills, and she paid for the beer with it, and she gave him the change, and he was looking at the two euro coins like. What the hell is this? What what is this? Is this money? Wow. Can I buy something with it? I what what no, I don't want it. It's heavy. <laughs> Damn son. Elki may even have more money than life coach. I have no idea. But Elki's so cool, yeah, man. Yeah, he is so like, he's such a chill dude. Like, he's he just really chill. Yeah, like I mean, I didn't get starstruck by him or anything because I didn't, like, really know him. Like, I knew who he was, but it wasn't like, oh, God, Elki, you know, like, I know everything about this guy. Yeah. Like, I had to Google him to, like, find out how much stuff he won before and stuff. But, like, I knew he was a professional poker player and had won a lot. So, it's always a big difference because it's the same with Life Coach. If you, like, meet these guys, the attitude they have towards the game is so different because they play purely for fun, right? It's, like, not about anything at all in terms of money. It's like, it's like oh, you know, I actually want to succeed because... It's fun, and I want to, like, win something. It's not like, oh, I have to win this tournament so I can, like, I don't know, like, make my life savings, you know, or, like, actually live off of it. So, yeah, it's such a cool guy. Definitely. And he's just happy to be here. And Exactly. Like, he's just happy to be here. Yeah, he's just happy to be here and have some fun. It's not about winning, even though he was pretty... I thought he was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good. Uh, Kofrofl is saying, I have a feeling Wreckful may lose his shirt to Elki tonight. Like, how? <laughs> because he's playing so much poker with him. Are they playing strip poker? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All so, right. I don't know if Powder is, uh... Powder's gonna win. Like, it, it looks, re it really looks good for him. And that would mean 3-0, right? Yeah, that means he would, uh, take it all. Is Wreckful good at poker? Yeah, but like because he played a lot, basically. It's not like he. Well, Wreckful already lost everything he had before he even started to play poker here. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Wreckful's good at Gamba, yeah. I feel so. On the one hand, I feel so sorry for for him because he lost all his stuff at the airport. But you got it back this evening, actually. Yeah? Yeah, you got, you it, got back. it back? Yeah, yeah, Nice. It arrived this evening and uh, one of our drivers went to get it. Oh, nice. Same for Lothar. Yeah, but he was so chill about it. He was like, yeah, stuff happens. Yeah, all chill in the same clothes for, for 15 days. Stuff happens. She. Yeah, he's, he's so cool. Like, He's like, yeah, you know, life. <laughs> <laughs> lost luggage, it's Batman. Lost Jane, I feel it's Batman. All right, this is probably going to seal the deal. Just a matter of time at this point. Ah, oh, that's true. That, that takes a while, but he will get there. Yeah, and Rez is going to think about how he can still win this. He might just, like, end up just playing it out, because why not, right? You're playing a tournament after all. Okay. 
Inferno. Okay. So the problem with Jiraxis is not like his weapon's obviously like a pain, but the, the main problem of like coming back against him is his hero power, right? Like you can't outlast it. There's a big minion coming down every single turn, and it's not going to stop. Like, what do you want to do against it? Yeah. Not only, like, even if you brawl and take out everything, you still pass it to your opponent, he gives you another one, and then you can play a minion up against it. And then That's he still true. has normal cards in his hand as well. Like, there's no way that you're, like, gaining insane value with, like, by like top decking, like he has to take this to to a fatigue state. And that's like the only thing he, he realized. That's the only thing that he can like win with. But oh. there's, there's rack coming down, which is way too much damage. So fatigue won't matter against that. He doesn't have direct damage, and there's also a heal bot to like keep him alive. So this is basically it for power. He's gonna take the win. Bring his opponent oh. to ten. Sylvanas, so a little late. That oh, done that's something. so late. I could have done something. Yeah. Not gonna. Goes up to 14 again. I don't think he... No, he's dead. He's dead, yeah. He's dead to double hellfire, actually. And <laughs> there's even an owl for the watcher. That's so much damage. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, God. That win. All right. So, Powder wins with his uh, Warlock. Yeah. Warlock deck. And it's going to be 3-1. Yeah. So, Caster, when will we find out who's facing who tomorrow in the top 16? Uh, I think we're releasing the groups like either very late this evening or like tomorrow, uh, early on. And uh, who's up next? I don't know who's, who's up next. Production. But but this was the winners. This was the winners winners match, right, guys? Okay. Hoy okay. versus Ignite. Hoy versus Ignite. Okay, so this actually means Thanks. that Tower moves on. Congrats to him. Nice. We'll see Ryzen again. In the deciders match. All right. Yeah. So until we see the next match, which is the losers match between what between Hoy and Ignite. You're playing Ignite. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll have a short break until then. So uh, yeah, don't go anywhere and uh, check out Seed Story Cup.